Hey guys, today I want to talk about a visual effect so useful I've been using it over and over in my past videos without even thinking about it. No, I'm not talking about cloning yourself, I'm talking about creating fake camera pan effects. Fake pans can help you add some dynamic elements to your video when you're shooting by yourself and have no one else to operate the camera. Or seamlessly stitch together different footage elements for special effects. Fake camera pans are very simple to create, but are essential building blocks for some very cool visual effects. Ever tried to curve a bullet? Well, since he's gone, let's get started with the tutorial. First, place your camera on a tripod and shoot the footage that you want to use for the start of this effect. In After Effects, we will then set up a 3D camera and position this footage to sit straight in front of it. Next, start panning your video camera and either take photos or video at increasing pan angles. Here's one at around 40 degrees. Again, this clip will be positioned in our 3D After Effects scene to match the pan angle it was shot at. You can continue this process for as long as you want to, but for this tutorial I am only going to stitch together three clips, creating a fake camera pan of just under 90 degrees. Once your clips are properly positioned in relation to your 3D camera in After Effects, you can simply pan the virtual camera to pan around in your virtual scene. Here's a comp with the three footage elements I have recorded. A little video of me at zero degree camera pan angle, a photo taken during the pan at around 40 degrees, and another video of me sitting on the couch at around 90 degrees. For now, hide all but the initial shot. First, let's create the 3D camera for our virtual scene. For this, right click into the layers window and select new camera. Make sure your camera settings, especially the focal length, match the settings of the camera you used to shoot your footage, otherwise this effect will not work properly. Then click OK. To be able to position our layers correctly in the 3D scene, we will need to turn all of them into 3D layers. For this, enable their 3D switch next to the layer name. Also, and this is important, we want to parent all layers except the shot we took at zero degree pan angle to our new camera. Do this by selecting the layers and dragging the pick whip icon onto our new camera layer. This will make the layers stick to the camera as we pan around the virtual scene. We will unparent them once we have positioned them correctly. Reveal the rotation option for our new camera by selecting the camera layer and pressing the R key. If we now change the panning, represented by the Y rotation, we can see that our footage is now a layer in 3D space. Let's get started positioning the other two layers. Set the first pan shot to visible again. If we now rotate the camera, our original shot will rotate in the scene, but the pan shot, because it is parent to the camera, will not. What we want to do is find the camera angle at which the two layers line up as cleanly as possible at the intersection line. To make this a little easier, you can also lower the opacity of the original shot. Use the T key to reveal this property for the selected layer. Adjust the opacity to make it easier to find the correct camera pan angle. Hmm, I'd say it's around 34 degrees. Reset the opacity to 100% and select the panned footage. Position, size and rotate the layer to align properly with your original shot. I'm using the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it around. I think we need to scale it up a little bit as well. There, that's not too bad. Now, again, this is important. We unparent the panned shot from the camera, essentially dropping it off in the 3D scene at its current position. If we now pan around our virtual scene, we can see half our virtual pan is already completed. We now reveal the last layer and repeat the process. Pan the camera until the shots align as close as possible at the seam. This seems to be at around 84.5 degrees. Position, size and rotate the layer to fit nicely together with the previous pan shot. The seam is a little visible where the hand casts a bit of a shadow. We can fix this easily by using a subtractive mask with a bit of feathering. There. That actually looks quite good. Now we unparent this final layer from the camera as well, and voila! We can now keyframe and pan our camera freely within our virtual scene to create all sorts of cool effects. You will likely see a few black areas at the top and the bottom of the footage as you pan around. However, you can easily get rid of those by pre-composing all of the layers in your composition and zooming in a little bit. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and can come up with some cool visual effects using these fake camera pans. 
As always, please leave any comments, questions or suggestions in the section below and please subscribe for more cool videos coming soon. Until next time, I will see you later.